What is up everybody? Hungry Cabagon here. I have got for you today some Super Dragon Ball Heroes Mystery Packs. Now these cost uh, 200 yen each. Uh, not expecting to get anything exciting but um, I think like the, the top cards you can get are like you know 10 to 20 dollar kind of range maybe. Uh, but we failing getting one of them we want to get some CP cards because they look really awesome. So hopefully we can at least get some of them. Um, unfortunately with these as I always say you can see some of the cards on there just because of the way like they have writing on the back which is a bit unfortunate but anyway let's see what we can do which way are these going to go this way alright so let's go this way we got ooh that's cool we got Gohan so this is a, a level 2 a 2 star so nothing special but still very shiny we have got a Tian that's just a, a 1 star so that's that is really nothing special um, let's go, oop, oop, alright, which way are we going to go? Oh, that looks good. Go 10. Oh, that's a 4 star. Ultra rare. Excellent, alright. Actually, that must be one of the top ones on the poster. Very nice, alright, we'll sleep that up in just a sec. We have got, uh, Kale. That looks like a 2 star one there. Yep. They're very golden and shiny. And then we've got the... Haru Haru. Okay. <laughs> um, Alright, so we did good straight away. Very nice looking card. Although, to be honest, I think like a lot of these cards look cool. Like they got all the gold writing and stuff. That's pretty sweet. This is not the highest rarity. You can get a secret, which is like a, the stars are inverted. So it's like a, a white square with black stars. But I think the CPs generally look better, but they're generally not worth anything but anyway we did good already so that is uh one of the best cards we could have got out of this so very very nice there all right let's go to the next one i'd say that uh that does us for the, the good cards though because yeah i can't imagine we get two in only five packs we got mr satan one star but still looks the artwork is really good on these cards i have to say all right we got piccolo i could see so that's a one star, but that's a hollow one star. So I don't know why some are hollows and some are not. Um, let's go this way. Looks like we got two of the same. Yeah, we've seen... Hold on. Did the other one? The other one was similar. Same character, but this is a, a shiny one. And... Well, let's just do this one. Oh, we got a CP. It's Trunks Mirai. Future Trunks. Oh, that's cool. He's got the, uh, the Scouter. That's really cool looking. Super um, colourful as well. What does that say the year? I think these are pretty new-ish. I've seen other ones where they're all wearing the Scouters, all the characters, and we got yeah, the same card again. So excellent. So as I said, I really like these CP cards. They look awesome, but um, a lot of the other ones are like really like, they look like it's a really expensive card. They're super shiny super like holographic but um they are just generally not worth anything but that's cool with me i mean i'm not expecting to get like a a big money card out of this because the packs are only two dollars each but it's just cool to get like a sweet looking one at least that's kind of my aim really um so what do we got here who's this guy yamu he's one of those margin the the bad guys, he's got the, the M on his head and on his teapot, kettle, genie lamp, I don't know. But that's a one star, but a one star hollow. And this appears to be the same card. Yes, it's the same one again. And this, is this the same one again? All right, I think I can see something. What, we got four, four of the same. All right, and then we got, whoa, is that a CP? Yeah, you can kind of tell because they look like crazy, but look at that! Jeez. So we got uh, Gogeta Zeno. But I mean, tell me that doesn't look like... You'd get, you'd pull that and you'd be like, whoa! That's like a, the most expensive card I've ever seen. But actually, uh, no. It's probably worth Bupkis. But it looks awesome and that's what I'm talking about. Look, he's like punching... Is he punching or elbowing? Punching... Just 
punching and shattering the card by the look of it. That's super awesome. Too, a little bit too shiny even. It might uh, throw off the old white balance on the camera. Anyway, we got uh, two more, so let's do it. Alright, who we got here? Dr. Lychee. So that's definitely just a one star, non-holographic one. We have got... That's oh, Freezer. Freezer, what does it say? Fukatsu. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's just like basic form. That's... Oh, that's a three star. Okay, that's not bad. That's a super rare. So we got a... Uh, a super rare freezer, I guess, yeah. Well, he's in his, his basic form. Um, well, let's have a look at this. Oh, it's hard. All right, we got uh, Vegeta. It's hard to, like, not reveal. We got Android 18. Looking cool. That looks like a two-star. And then, oh, that's cool as well. I saw that this is a three-star as well, so that's another super rare. So, it seems like the worst you can get out of these is either one CP card or two three-star super rare cards. And these are generally not really worth anything, um, but some shops will buy these for 50 yen each. So even if you get nothing, you still get half your money back, which is kind of cool if you want to sell them. So that's kind of nice. All right, last one. All right, what are we talking here? All right, I got a few here. We've got... Another, another one. All right, I got a lot. I mean, who cares? They, they're just the, the filler ones, but... Oh, I see something really shiny. All right, let's see. All right, they're giving us four again. And we got... Oh, that's so cool. Do I have this one already? I definitely have a similar-ish looking one that's like really holo... Like uh, rainbow colored. I don't think so, though. I think this is a different one. This is Goku Zeno. Man, that looks awesome. See what I mean, though? Like... It's like textured, it's just so rainbow colored. It looks amazing. So cool looking. It's got all kinds of shiny stuff going on. And yeah, this is a CP. So again, it's probably worth pretty much, not nothing, but like, you know, maybe if you're lucky, a dollar, I think. Just, um, I don't know, I'm talking about like, obviously, Japanese market prices. I have no idea if people would pay more for them overseas because, you know, you can't really get them. I don't know, but man, they look cool. So I think we did really good actually. And like, I'm never going to go play this arcade game. I'm just in it for the cool looking cards pretty much. So in that respect, we did very well and we actually got an ultra rare card. So very well done indeed today. So we got Cell, three star, super rare. We got Freezer, three star, super rare, which is not in a sleeve for some reason. Not that it probably needs it, but we might as well while we're here. Sleeve him up. All right, we got this cool CP Future Trunks. Looking very cool with the scanner on, at the scatter. Very nice looking. It's got like nice little hints of gold. I like the green as well. Really cool looking. We got the crazy, shiny Gogeta Zeno. Again, very cool looking. I like that a lot. This is probably my favorite one that we got. I really like the, the colors on that. That's just really, really cool looking. Super nice looking card. And the best, the best one in terms of uh, rarity and value wise is this uh, Goten GT. He's all grown up, Goten. Um, this is a ultra rare four star so that's pretty good i'll have to check how much this actually goes for but it's pretty nice i think well you know decent um oh i like that it's got the shenron if you can see him in the background very cool looking very cool looking indeed so very successful actually i'm very happy with that uh i think you know this is kind of a, a, a from time to time thing that i just like to buy just to kind of see if we can get something cool looking. It's not something I'm looking to kind of invest heavily in or to open a lot of. Um, you can't generally buy like packs of these. They sometimes sell packs, but it's usually from an arcade machine and uh, it's $1 per card essentially. And you might just get like one of these. So I feel like this is pretty decent value, honestly, because you're always going to get at least one or two cool cards out of each one. 
uh, you know, they might not be worth anything, but I would only get two cards from a machine and you might get just nothing. So I think it's pretty good. I don't know if people want to see more of this, but uh, I think from time to time, as I said, I will, I'll be opening some more. So anyway, let me know what you think about this, guys. Uh, check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.